students in this video we are going to start paper 2017 for a collier level um, obviously first of all I will read for you and then we will find the answers David, Fedora, Darius, Swan, Irina and Maya arrived at the Museum of Natural History they want to participate in the open pet exhibition and the contest named Who Knows Wins. The children want to demonstrate how well they are prepared to look after their pets. Ministry of Culture, Museum of Natural History. Time is nine o'clock. Let's go in and see what pets children brought. Pet exhibition November 1st. Darius, it's time the museum has opened. And you just count the number of people 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, question number 1 What are the children visiting? A. The Museum of Natural History. B. The Museum of History C. The Art Medium D. The Pet Exhibition E. Natural Village Museum I think A. The Museum of Natural Natural History You can see in the pic as well Museum of Natural History Now question number 2 When is the Who Knows Wins competition organized? In summer, in October, in spring, in winter, in autumn. November, related to winter, D is the correct answer. Now, what time does the museum open? You have seen 9 o'clock, so A is the correct answer. Number 3, A. 9, 8, 11, 10, 12, 25, A is correct. Now, question number four. How many people are there in front of the museum? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have seen nine. What are the children seeing at the museum? A sports competition, plain maquette, pets, stamps, fruits and vegetables. Obviously pets. Fifth is C is the correct answer now the next one you have to listen very carefully then you will be able to find the correct answer the children will show visitors the pets they take care of they can't wait to tell about them about the joy these animals bring to their lives and how they have learned to feed them, walk them, wash their cages and play with them. Only the visit to the fest is left to their parents. Okay, now I just minimize to read the whole dialogue. Maya your cat is so beautiful, she is saying to Maya, and Maya has a cat. Thank you, Theodora. She is Theodora, and she is Maya, and Maya has cat, you can see. And cat is in the basket, and Theodora has turtle, and there are two turtles. Okay, Razvan, I want to make a wish to your golden fish. Arena, this is Arena. My fish are not from fairy tales. Uh, I like your hamster very much, David. He is David, and David has this hamster. Hamster just like a rat. Darius, you have a nice dog. She has a dog, you can see. So she is, uh, her name is Darius, he is 
David, he has hamster. Razwan has golden fish. Arena has parrot. Now move on. Question number six. Who has a hamster? Theodora, Maya, Darius, Arena, or David? David. David has E is correct answer. Now question number seven. How many children have animals with four legs? All of them? No, it's not correct. Three, two, four, five. Just go back and count the animals that have four legs. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Number seven. One, two, three, one, two, parrot has two lives, one, two, three, four, five. Four. How many children have animals with four legs? How many children? One, two, three, and four. Four children. D is correct. Now question number five. Maya brought her pet in. Fish tank, kennel, cage, bag, basket. Basket. Eight. C is correct. How many alive creatures are there in the picture? Just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Just check if there is 16. Yes. 9A. A is correct. Number 10. The place where animal, especially wild animals, are kept so that people can go and look them uh, or study them is whenever we say that animals so we link with zoo zoology is the study that in which we study animals so uh, botanical garden it means plants are there astronomical astronomical astronomy is related museum of natural science the national theater zoological garden obviously when we and the place where animals especially wild animals are kept so Zoology, zoological garden. Zoology is the study of animals. So E is correct. Now next page. Okay, they are telling about their pets. Now turtles are omnivores and they eat both meat and plants. Adult pet turtles need to be fed every two three days turtles are omnivores omnivores means they can eat both plants and animals cats sleep half a day when they get up they are very playful hamster are as well as cat do not need to be washed because they wash themselves
Goldfish live in lakes and rivers which are freshwater. In China, the goldfish have been raised an aquarium for a thousand years. Dogs must be walked and let run. Parrots are scared of noise and sudden movements. Now, read the question. Question number 11. Which child has the smallest mammal? Again, David. Because he has hamsters and this is just like mouse or rat. So this is smallest mammal. And question number 12. Omnivores are animals which eat both plants and meat. This is correct. 12A. Now question number 13. Which child has a pet sensitive to noise and unexpected movement? I think Theodora. Just check what's her name who has pet. Parrot. Yes. Arena. I R I N A. Okay, just check the answer. Which child has a pet sensitive? Arena. E. He is correct. She has parrots, and parrots are sensitive to noise and expected movements. Question number 14. Which animal is considered to be man's best friend? I think dog. Dog dog is correct. No need to read all the hedgehog, the cat, the dolphin, the mosquito, the dog. Dog is the best man's best friend. 14. D is correct. Now 15. The goldfish live on land, in the sea, in the fresh waters, in trees, undergrounds and fresh waters C is correct 15 C okay now read the British short hair is a robust furry cat having a short gray dense coat its eyes are big and gentle the medium weight of a cat is about 7 kg the males can reach 7 to 9 kg while female are 4 to 6 kg these cats are sensitive to stress and heart diseases a british short hair would be an excellent therapist for a child who can can't express very well his feelings it is said that romans after Conquering the British land started to cultivate the field and then brought a great number of cats to keep the crops safe from rodents. The cat brought by Romans met it with wild cat, thus giving birth to a brand new species, robust and strong, thus able to endure the difficult weather of Britain. Why I love cats, her favorite is the British short hair named Susie. Maya lives in a block of apartments on the fourth floor. Outside, right in front of her window, there is an old linden tree. One day, Maya left the window open and her cat sat on the window case to watch the birds. While Maya was going to avoid homework with her friends, Razwan and Irina, Susie, jumped off the window to catch a sparrow. Maya didn't notice that. Late, later, a neighbor came and brought the cat which had a broken paw. Maya's parents took Susie to vet who bandaged her paw. Okay, now read the question and answer it. Question number 16. Why did the Romans bring the cat to Britain? To mad them with the wild cat? To play with the children to protect their crops from rodents to, to hurt birds to keep them for good luck. C. To protect their crops from rodents. 16. C. Now 17. The British short hair cats are at potential risk of dash diseases. Stomach, heart, eye, 
basketball b heart disease 18 the adult male or british short hair can reach a maximum weight of 5 kg 6 kg 9 kg 11 kg 12 kg i think 9 kg 19 c what did suzy want to catch fish rabbit butterfly bird a mouse a sparrow is a bird 19 d what did maya's parents do when the cat broke her leg they took her to the vet yes 20 a is correct now question number 21 first read this one okay you can see this is hamster hamsters live live up to two to three years they eat seeds and vegetables and drink clean fresh water hamsters are nocturnal animals nocturnal animals they are animals they sleep at daytime and get up at night so you can hear them at night hamster like to hide their food in different places or to store in their puffy cheeks hamsters hibernate during winter they get up to have water and food so don't wake up peg, wake them up okay you can see this an african gray parrot jacko is the best speaker of all the parrots it can reach maturity at four years old when it's 33 to 40 centimeter long and weight 450 to 550 grams the parrot lives longer than any other pet up to 60 to 65 years it can copy sounds until it is 50 years old it can their food consists of vegetables and vitaminized seeds now arena has a parrot whose name is jacka the parrot often call her arena 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 jacko eats 50 grams of seeds per day and arena prays pays one euro for each bag of 200 grams now question number 21 which pet hibernate hamster c is correct question number 22 the hamster eats at night because it is nocturnal 22a is correct the african gray parrot can live up to 60 to 65 years 23b at what age can African grey parrot reach maturity? Four years. E is correct. Just check the answer. Four years. Okay. This was all about paper 2017 for class 3 and 4. this uh, i will end my video here thank you very much have a nice day